skin, your skin gonna be better. Bitch, like your skin, your skin, your body, glow up on a nigga. What? <laughs> channel for today's video we are going to be doing a girl chat because y'all have been dying to get into these girl chats story times they're coming your way boo they coming time this is just one of many so girl i got you y'all have been dming me these niggas must be going crazy because y'all been telling me about these niggas in quarantine dming me crazy shit so you know what sis i'm finna sit down because some of y'all are new here and some of y'all don't know about a lot about my past so i'll just wanted to bring some of that up in this video and i'm so excited and you know i just got full glam well not really it's like a light little beat and then we're gonna get into hair wig outfit perfume all that so make sure you tune in so yes don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this video and let's just hop right into the video hey y'all so we just gonna get right into it so first we are gonna do a girl chat today and i'm super excited oh wait let me take these out okay so hey girl welcome back it's been a minute since i sat down and filmed for y'all and y'all been a fiend for what the fuck there's no fucking fire oh my god that shit scared the fuck out of me y'all what the fuck there's literally no fire going on my candles are burning Girl, let me find out. I'm gonna end up fucking in a fire during a chit chat. This is crazy. And I just had to go downstairs and make sure there was no fire. And I end up making a little coffee. Just a little bit. Okay. So, girl, welcome back to my channel. Obviously, we we're interrupt interrupted. I don't know what's been going on in quarantine at your house, but y'all been asking me for relationship advice, breakups. I'm just like, what the fuck is these niggas doing in quarantine? Like, where can you go? Like, make it make sense. Hey, you know what? A nigga will cheat anyways. Like, he don't give a fuck. He'll go get coronavirus at that side bitch house. He just don't care. He don't give a fuck. That dick is nasty. But first, I need to get into this hair. Y'all, this is my second attempt put it on a wig and we finna see how I did. I installed it yesterday. This was supposed to be filmed yesterday, girl. But literally, like, my life was in shambles. Overnight, I just put elastic band on it, but I know I need to... What the fuck? But I know I need to do my baby hairs over. Oh, well, just these two. Cause I didn't put no baby hairs on the side. Cause y'all, I'm still learning, but I don't know. Like this side now is better than this side, but I didn't want to make baby hairs on this side. Cause it don't make no sense. I don't like putting my hair behind my ear on this side. This side is my good side. And I accidentally ripped the lace, but it's okay. But yeah, this hair is from Icy Hair. This is their water wave hair. I just wet it in the shower. And I didn't put any mousse or anything on it because I'm about to do that right now. But we're about to see how this looks. Ah, shit. Oh my God, an elastic band is no joke. Oh, okay, period. Ow. Yes, this is by Icy Hair. And as you can see, the lace is beginner friendly and um yeah i did bleach the knots and um what else did i do i bleached the knots and uh, dyed the hair jet black yeah i think it's pretty pretty decent for my second time um but yeah i'm about to get into these baby hairs real quick but yeah i do like this hair overall the curls are pretty it's giving me very vacation vibes i um but i really need to learn how to pluck my wigs like I'm still learning y'all I'm still learning so but yeah so we're gonna get into it but yeah like always the hair oh I think I like it better like that like flared yeah cuz I wanted it to be like that like that type of thing going on yeah 
I think I like that. But yeah, y'all, all the hair details will be in the description box below. This is icy hair. And they don't have any shedding. Like when I was washing it, girl, like literally, like this is one piece of hair. Like I was shook. It was barely no hair in my sink. So I was really happy about that because I love a full curly wig. This hair is bomb. So cute. It's so to you. So let's get into styling because I really want to get into this girl chat because we need to talk about it because y'all clearly going through some things. Girl, I'm here to talk your motherfucking ear off. So I'm going to put mousse on the top of it. This is what I like to do all the time with my curly hair just to make my wigs flat because I like flat hair. But I want this front part to be flared. And this is the Brunner Brothers wrap lotion i know a lot of people use a lot of body but at the beauty supply store i went to they didn't have it so i just got this one i think it works just as good but yeah y'all i'm really trying to put my own wigs on like of course i'm gonna want to go get my hair done professionally when i feel like it but i still want to have the luxury of knowing how to put my own hair in you know like when I feel like changing my wigs I can like and I think that's what a wig is meant to be like I'm just over going to the salon like of course I'm gonna want to go when I want to be pampered but I just don't feel like sitting in the salon no more okay that looks good and then I also got this Edge Booster Wax Stick. I was trying to find the Cure Care one because I know stylists use that to like flatten out the wig at the top. So that's what we're going to do right now too. And then today for my makeup, I really want to just keep it light. I'm put some more moves in it. Y'all, I'm obsessed with putting moves in my hair. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section below how do y'all feel about me. Well, how do my wigs look? <laughs> but I don't use glue. Like, I don't use glue. I just use the Got To Be um, spray and then the yellow bottle. Um, Because I'm, I don't know, I'm not comfortable using glue yet but i feel like it will be much cleaner and much easier for me to use glue instead of this so i'm my next wig i'm gonna try to do it with glue but yeah y'all make sure y'all check out my description box to check out icy hair icy hair is one of my favorite brands that i ever worked with and yeah so make sure because you know you probably gonna have a vacation right after quarantine so make sure you get your curly hair and also the warm weather is coming it's still here it's still cold here in wisconsin but girl you know what i mean get you a little nasty quarantine vacation and get your hair to go with it too okay so first i'm gonna start off with this pixie glow mist i've been loving this this is in my skincare routine y'all are gonna find that out soon i know y'all are waiting for this skincare routine but it's coming i promise you oh my god i gotta do my fucking brows okay let me do my brows real quick and come back because they is really like i don't know i'm trying to figure out what i want to do with them so one second mm, girl i just wanted to re-show you my lace because i put some more makeup on the front part and girl it's giving scalp thank you okay so anyway for today's makeup i really want to just keep my makeup very very i don't know i guess you can say like dewy most of the time i'm usually a matte girl which i'm gonna like you know i don't want my finish to be like i want to look glowy and matte at the same time but light makeup if that makes sense Finally, i mix all three of my foundations the bobby brown this is a matte finish and then the nars natural radiant longwear foundation but i think i'm just gonna use the nars today and stay away from the bobby brown so yeah but i'm gonna first prep my skin with the elf putty primer i love this primer this literally is just just like this one they the same girl if you want a budget go ahead go get you some elf go to target 
because they're literally the same so let's get into it so yeah girl i don't know it's a lot of new people here it's a lot of new people and some of y'all do not know some of y'all may me and i know that i was in a toxic ass two-year relationship it was so bad like ugh, i just you know it was very very devastating it was a harsh relationship but you know what that relationship really made me who i am today baby so i can't complain so yes i feel like breakups are a blessing in disguise like i feel like it'd be a blessing like to get that get that shit out of your life yeah like, you don't want that even though i know you may probably love this person but at the same time it's toxic it's draining you you don't need it it's not healthy for you it's not gonna help you thrive through life fuck that relationship if it's not benefiting you, if it's not helping you, if it's not helping you, you know, get up and make you be your best self, let that shit go. I'm not here to tell y'all, like, there's steps you need to take to overcome a relationship because there's really not. There is a, I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all, like, oh, step one, you need to do this. Like, after you leave that deadbeat ass thing, this is what you need to do. No, I'm not going to tell you that because everybody copes with a relate with a breakup so differently because everybody is just so different. And however you, whatever you need to do to get through the pain, do it. Because heartbreak, I wouldn't wish heartbreak on nobody. It's probably the worst thing you'll probably ever go through life. Well, probably not the worst thing, but you know, you know what I mean? Like that pain, like that sickness feeling you get through your stomach. Like, especially when you're going through it, it's not healthy. I just hate it. I'm gonna put this dark color on too. I was in a two year relationship and everything was always a fucking, he was always being a clown ass nigga. Like, let's just keep it at that. Well, yeah, he was always being a clown ass nigga. Like, <laughs> all throughout our relationship it was always another bitch she was always doing some crazy shit and i would just be like that ride or die bitch because i ain't gonna lie to y'all i ain't gonna lie this nigga was paying my bills like <laughs> he was treating me to new shit so i was just like okay like <sighs> like i'm gonna be a ride or die bitch like whatever Woo, 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 and don't be me do not be like me leave that nigga if he was doing some clown shit over and over again do not ignore the red red flags okay do not dumb yourself just because a nigga's paying your bills you can pay your own motherfucking bills you can f make a way like if that is your main like nigga like listen if that is the nigga that you're getting money from and you don't got no job that is the nigga that you're getting most of your income from like if that nigga has made you feel so comfortable where you don't need to work or some shit but that nigga is still cheating still don't be a dummy bitch have an escape plan put whatever money that nigga is giving to you to the side have a little bank account he don't know about sis like all that toxic shit that a nigga just brings that he wants to be the main provider but he's still cheating on you sis no it's not worth it it's y'all know how many niggas it is in this world you know how many niggas it is in this world like 50 bajillion kabillion trillion whatever the fuck number it is it's one nigga out here that's gonna love you for you gonna treat you right do all that in one it's somebody out here it's somebody out here okay sis and i had to realize that too because i'm like it gotta be one motherfucker out here to you know to you know love me how i'm supposed to be loved i mean it hasn't happened yet but you know what i'm still young so woo -woo -woo, whatever i told y'all he was paying my bills woo -woo, i was being stupid so into our second year of a relationship i found out like some shit where you know he was cheating on me but this was a different type of cheating sis it was damn near in another relationship like that's what i would call it because when i found out about it he told me yeah he told me that i don't listen he was like you don't listen you brought this on yourself like what the fuck you mean if i don't listen break up with me leave me alone like if you're not happy just leave or communicate that with your girl and tell her but he decided to get a whole relationship because i guess the girl wanted him the bitch been on him like the bitch been around she knew about me she knew what was up whatever that when i found out it really fucked me up because it's like 
what what are you cheating for like what is you doing this for you got a good bitch in front of you the bitch all the niggas want because y'all i was like i don't want to i don't want to my own horn but this is a small like, city and i'm coming i'm unique baby like i mean you may have your coin or whatever but i'm still the glue that holds the pieces together i'm still that bitch so what what are you doing i'm a new bitch in town all the bitches knew me like they they knew of me but they like who is this new girl like all the niggas would be one of the piece or whatever they want you know they all sliding in a dm like and he knew that so i'm just like what like you got the bitch all the niggas want and like you know i'm from a small town and um you want to cheat on me with a average bitch just because she fucking listen and don't get me wrong i'm gonna pull up pull up and leah j like she wasn't ugly but she wasn't mean but she was all right i mean she all right but she to me she's still a bottom of the bear bitch like i don't want a bitch to think she got one up on me just because we fucking with the same nigga like this is not what's gonna happen and this is not what you finna think so anyways fast forward to everything the bitch kept popping up basically so she kept popping up i knew it was serious because it was one day it was this one day in particular where she i he was like you know what kyra he was like i'm i have i think we broke up for like a, the day or something or like a couple days i haven't talked to him so then he calls me and was like you know what kyra i want to make it right like woo woo my dog bitch still around so i was like no you need to call her and tell her that you're done with her at this but like i'm so stupid like i'm telling him to call her knowing damn well he still fuck with her like so upsetting but yeah so he calls her and in front of me i'm like you need to call her in front of me like i'm not playing like no it's either that or stop talking to me for real so he goes ahead and calls her and then she's like on the phone she's like what she the bitch sounded a little confused stop acting like you didn't know he was in a relationship before you even started she's like what do you mean where's the she was like where's that fucking money that you owe me and i was like what this bitch is giving you money like what so at this point and then he she was like you just picked up my mom from the airport i was like you picked up with this bitch mama like y'all have this type of relationship where you you getting to know her mama like you picking her up from the airport and you don't even do that shit for my mama like i was so pissed i was pissed and yeah she they we he must have moved that bitch in for a couple days while we wasn't talking because her shit was in the back of his car and i went to go i fucked up all her shit i fucked up her little fancy beauty all that shit like no so so he broke it off or whatever but i still i still didn't trust him like he got me tatted and everything like i felt like him getting me tatted him posting me and shit was like security for me that shit is not security like a nigga can fake happy on the internet all day like couples can fake happy all day but at the end of the day some of that should be half fake that shit do not be real security for me is showing me actions at this point in my life like but anyway so all that happened so fast forward to like us like really like breaking up and me like you know going through my little heartbreak we was still going through our stuff we was this was so fucking toxic y'all i knew he was still messing with this bitch but i was still have him around and like ugh, like ugh, ugh, ah! that is just so upsetting that is upsetting me right now that i really allowed that shit to happen but I'm about to go in with this fancy cream um, bronzer. I don't know if I like it yet. It's not really blending, but we're going to see today. I'm going to see what I can do with it. So, yeah, I just want my skin to be real glowy. So, I'm going to try and blend out this fancy beauty. Oh, I need to go get a wax on my chin. My upper lip. But uh, I'm going to do it in the honey glaze color and so yeah so i knew it was like he was really like fucking with this bitch for real for real like he he damn near moved on at this point but was still like you know he couldn't let me go and i couldn't let him go you know them situations so um it was one day we had linked up 
and you know he took me to a little nice hotel and shit and i was like whatever we finna do this so we finna see so he's like you know i want to make it work you know bullshit clown line so then the next day like two days later i find out this bitch was out of town that's why he called me like that was like the only reason he called me so this time like we not in no relationship but he's still fucking with her and he's still fucking with me and uh, like it was just so bad and then after that I found out because they was moving in together. This bitch was posting his furniture, selling it. So they was about to move in together. So I was just like, what? Like, you just fucked me. And then now you finna go moving with this bitch. Like, you're not shit. You're never gonna be shit. You know what? And, you know, this bitch really thinks she lucked up with this nigga. I'ma let you have him, baby. Like, I'ma let you, I'ma let you rock with him. So... And I was just like, at that point, I was just like, no, this is not for me. See, I don't know. Like, this Fenty Beauty, I don't know. Oh, this actually comes up better with um, a beauty blender. And I like to put my contour on my cheekbones now just because it gives you a more chiseled look. I know people like to do it like, like there, but I like to do it right on my cheek right now. And my blush on top of it but yeah so they was moving in together and at that point i was just like you know what you can go ahead and do what it do i'm done and that did it didn't really break me it i mean it does i was hurt or whatever but you know it made me who i am today it gave me the strength to push through and pursue things that i wanted to do so if you are going through a breakup make sure that you put yourself first and put all your focus into what you've been wanting to do. Like, I literally put my all into my YouTube channel. Like, I put my all into my YouTube channel. And look at, like, look, it benefited. The strength to, the drive to pursue this. And if I wasn't, if I was still with him, honestly, I would not. Well, if I was still fucking with him, I would, like, be miserable. I wouldn't be focused. I would just be, you know just trying to figure out what the fuck he doing where you at who the fuck you talking to like miserable fucking bow and i don't never want to be in that state of mind no more like i don't allow myself to get i would never allow myself to get to that point so if you are going through a breakup make sure you go full force on what you want to do don't don't hold back on like let that situation go and put yourself first baby girl but literally you're gonna go through it them first days like them first days of like going through a breakup it's not easy it's easier said than done but them first days girl <laughs> i mean i fell in love with him and now my feelings have changed you don't think i feel bad let the tears allow yourself to feel the pain but i always live by this and i'm gonna live by this until like forever i'm gonna tell if i have a daughter i'm gonna be like you're allowed yourself a day to feel that pain you are you're allowed yourself to feel all the pain that all the tears like drop or whatever let that shit out don't hold it in acting like you so strong it's okay like we all need somebody in our ear to be like it's okay like it is okay to feel like this and it will get better and it will and i promise you it will get better and you know what the crazy thing about it is the cycle is gonna continue with whatever the fuck they was doing the shit is gonna continue that nigga is still not gonna be shit and he's still gonna he gonna be treating her like you he treated you and you're gonna be moved on doing better pockets fat like more moves being bust more success like i'm telling you it you won't think like that in the moment you'll be like <laughs> you don't think i feel bad but i promise you like girl i'm serious i'm trying to figure out what the fuck i want to do with my makeup that it just gave me the drive to do what i was supposed to do which was you know pursue everything on this platform and i'm so blessed and i'm so thankful that you know it did happen like now i know what i don't want in a man now i know the red flags now i know what to look for now i know like it's a lesson at the same time 
even though it's a breakup but yeah but yeah allow yourself to feel the pain allow yourself to heal allow yourself those days to you know be sad a little bit and it's okay so and then also i did have to pray like y'all i was so hurt because i'm like i'm that bitch what are you doing like what the fuck and i just it was just i was in that state of mind where i just didn't want to lose to a bitch that thought she was like one up like on me like ha ha i took your nigga like ha ha like no bitch you did not take shit from me because that nigga was still on my line that nigga tried to come around it's still it's 2020 this shit happened in what not last year but the year before girl he's still checking for me like and he's still gonna be checking for you yeah i love the huda beauty powder Aaliyah put me on to this because she was doing her makeup online most of my makeup tips my products that i use come from her i'll be like yes let me let me see what the fuck this girl's talking about so i was really hurt and you know i had to really pray like i literally got on my hands and knees and i was like lord please allow this pain to go away from me please lord please take this pain away from me like if you have to pray to get through it do that like pray god is in your on your side god is on your side so and it worked and he took the pain away from me and allowed me to focus on myself and get me through my hard times so i always call him don't ever just call on the lord on hard times y'all pray every couple days like i love the lord thank you jesus for helping me get through it father god i love you okay sure that you are looking in the mirror and telling yourself you are enough because in these situations we feel like we aren't good enough we start to question ourselves like damn what the fuck did i do wrong where he wanted to go ahead and have somebody else in his life as his you know you know like have another bitch in his life where he's doing what you're supposed to be doing in a relationship you going you stepping out on a relationship going to find something else so it's basically seeming like you're a problem and it's really not you it's not you it's these insecure ass niggas but it hit different when it's not just like he just fucking somebody it's just like he invested his feelings in another girl so it was really hard for me to cope with but you know it's cool i got through it he just wasn't it for me sweetie oh that's what i was gonna get to and so i can charge my camera a little bit but you need to look in the mirror and tell yourself self-affirmation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you are enough. You give yourself back that value that you have lost when you were, you know, going through this breakup and devastating ex that these clown ass niggas be liking to do. Because, girl, like, self-love is the best love. I'm telling you, yeah, once you, like, he probably, you know, had a little something, but it, that's the difference between me and him. I found myself, he found somebody else. That's fine. But I learned to love myself. You have self-love. Like, I understand some people like to have relationship to relationship, but that's honestly not healthy. And you need to have self-love because you honestly can't love yourself until to love somebody else until you love yourself. So, yes, yeah, self-affirmation, you need to do. Self-affirmation is the key. I do that shit all the time. I mean, like, yes, bitch, yes. Gas yourself up. Tell yourself you are strong. You are enough. Tell yourself you got this. You got this. You will find somebody better. Geek your motherfucking head up, girl. Because you that bitch. And that's just all period. Period, boo. So I'm just taking um, what the Beijing out and going into my lid. I'm really finna do, like, a natural. Because I've been into, like, that foxy eye look. So, I'm about to do that. And then, I'm going to let my camera charge a little bit. Girl, I need to get a new charger. Uh, another charger battery. Because my shit always dying when I'm doing my sit-down videos. That's why I'm dread I always dread them. Because I'm like, ugh, I got to wait. Like, it never, it's never a good go-through. So, I'm about to do my eyes, lashes, all that. And then come back. <sighs> yeah, girl. 
Ooh, my skin looks good. Okay. And and when you leave that nigga, your skin gonna be better, bitch. Like your skin, bitch. Your skin, your body. Glove on a nigga. What? Don't let. Don't. I'm not telling y'all lies. I can't make this shit up. Okay. Anyway, let me um do that. Yeah, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make. Okay. Y'all, I tried that concealer hack under my eye. My face looks like snatch bring my face together with this Too face born this way warm sand and this is also the color i use on my lace as well but yeah so like i was saying so i would literally like when i was in that situation i would be like what is she doing better than me like what what do i need to do to change up like he for instance he said she listened and shit like that like my dumb ass was trying to like be like this nice ass sweet girl that like to listen like girl that is not you this thing is not treating you right stop it like i wish i could go back and tell myself that like just leave just go because he is not doing nothing so like i say and when you're single when you're like going through your breakup you do hold value just because he went off and did whatever he did and feel like he needed to do does not mean that you don't have value like he would say crazy shit to me that would fuck my head up and act like she better than me like no she's not better than me she's still a bottom of the bear bitch because she still was a side bitch like i don't care <laughs> remind yourself that you're that bitch self affirmation sweetie you hold value and then when you're on to your next relationship now you can set standards on what you want in a relationship what you don't want is this meeting is this nigga meeting your standards is he even qualified to be your man like girl you will definitely change i'm definitely changed i feel i is this same lashes I feel like I don't know I hate when I can't see myself I mean in the mirror but on camera I'm like okay well I don't know let's just continue beauty one we'll see but no I don't want to use that okay so now I'm gonna use the Milani because I don't use a highlight I and this has a little bit of highlight in it so we're gonna do that um just to give me that like glowy look that I'm going for y'all I'll be going blush crazy oh yeah and somebody DM me one of my supporters DM me she was like how do you get his attention back like when you when a nigga is getting a little bit too comfortable you know what I'm saying and he don't want to do what it took to get you now he done slowed down on the shit like i hate niggas like that let's pull a uh, him on him pulling him on him i'm pretty sure that'll wake his ass up like post a little thirst trap or something like make him make him jealous like that will really like wake a nigga up and to have him pay attention to you remind him how many niggas is just waiting for him to slip up period because if you won't give me the attention that i want somebody will sweetie but yeah if you are going through a breakup right now I promise you, sweet. I promise you, it will get better. Focus on you. Remind yourself that you have value, regardless of the situation. If he's moved on, let him move on. Let him, let them do what they do. That's cool. I'm happy for you, but I'm gonna make my way over here, and I'm gonna find somebody ten times better. <sighs> so to be nice. Oh, I never told y'all. And these niggas will, will always try and come back in your life. And that's when, you know, that nigga that try to dumb you and make you feel like you less than a woman that you are. By the time he'll come back again, you'll be untouchable. You'll be untouchable. Like, I don't know you. Don't. Like, what are you doing? Like, stop trying to write me. Trying to link up. No. The answer is no. You're untouchable now. That nigga can't even get near you. That nigga not even in your caliber. That nigga not even your type no more. So this is the NYX Cold Brew. 
okay and then i'm gonna go on with this morphe color and it's called first base my girl and then i'm gonna be going in with miss heather rose's iron cosmetics y'all this has made my lips look so juicy and plump like oh my god it's so good i think she's out of stock of stuff but this stuff girl it smells like cookies and it's literally the best gloss i ever use i'm not even guessing it's okay but it's for real i'm dead ass here yeah. I look so cute. <laughs> okay, and then I just got on my um skims. Y'all, I love skims. If you have not got a hold of skims yet, so cute and so comfortable, like y'all. Y'all have to get a hold of this, like I'm gonna put on my Tom Ford Vanille and Tobacco Vanille perfume because this shit is so good. Mm, I love smelling like this when I'm in the house. Mm, it smells so good, y'all. Like so good. I think I want to put on one of my necklaces. But what I am gonna do. Where she at? Where she at? Put on a little bio oil. I have a bigger one. But I just love, like, if I'm wearing, like, sleeveless some shirts or something. Girl. Mm. Oh, I feel so good. And I'm looking so healthy and fresh. My curly wig, bitch, what? I love this one. This one was sent to me. Hey girl. I'm going to put one of my name necklaces on. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do that. Alright y'all, so I just put on my necklace. Little touch. So yeah y'all, that wraps up this video i really hope that if you are really going through a breakup right now girl don't lose value in sight of yourself you got this i'm believing you push through that nigga wasn't shit and he wasn't meant to be in your life you know god always always shows you who is supposed to be there and who ain't and he was just not supposed to be baby he was just because you finna upgrade you finna level up and that's just on period so yeah y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to check the description box below to get all the hair details on this hair this is icy hair body wave hair i love this hair so much it's cute and yes so i will see y'all in the next video i love y'all so much okay and I will talk to y'all soon. I love y'all. Stay Liz. You that bitch is still that bitch. I'm going to see y'all. Bye.